So everyone, in light of what this video is about, hi, uh, I'm in my hallway and I'm just showing you um, the pram now. There are only a few weeks to go. We had the pram delivered and this is it. So it is the Eye Candy Peach 3. Um, sorry for moving around so much. This is the rain cover, which looks pretty snazzy on, makes it look like a bit of a time capsule. <laughs> um, and big basket, as you can see. Um, we bought the matte black Peach 3. Um, so, obviously, as you can see, we haven't exactly gone for the most feminine option, um, at least to start, because the pram as you see it now is in its uh, newborn um, configuration. Little cute spiral that I show you for from Mamas and Peppers. Um, and then the blankets that I have bought her are here. Um, and obviously they will make it look more uh, girly once she's out. So this is that lovely Ralph one that I showed you. And then um, the White Company one, which is just beautiful. Go this side so that you can see better. Uh, okay. And then I have placed a, I have covered the mattress in, oh, another blanket that I bought from Ted Baker, cute one. Um, I was going to cover the mattress in that, but my husband didn't like the look of that one. Thought it was a bit garish. So this is actually a flat sheet from Thada Home have placed it in bram. Obviously I've had to kind of tuck it up underneath there. Um, so obviously give it a bit of a girly feel, although obviously you have to look inside to see that part, but I think it makes it look dead cute. And then yeah, so that's what the pram looks like. Um, yeah, it's not particularly girly right now, no, you're right if that's what you're thinking. But once it turns into the seat, the seat unit has got the pink um, seat insert and the marshmallow foot muff. Once it turns into uh, the proper pram with, uh, once we take the carry cot off and put the seat unit on, it will look a lot more feminine. But for now, it's just a black pram. <laughs> Cup holder, obviously, gonna need to be, uh buying the Starbucks. This is the car seat we have purchased. So that's the parasol for the pram uh, and the adapters. So we purchased a pebble in brown because uh, we have a cream leather interior in our car and we actually, do you know what, to be completely honest with you, I wanted to get the black. I thought it would look better on the pram but my husband was like well we've got cream leather interior in our car so let's get the cream and I was like yeah but it's going to get really dirty and he was like yeah but you know you can wash it and I just couldn't bother to argue with him so basically this is the reason why we have a silly colour car seat uh, it looks very pretty I'm sure it's going to get wrecked so take heed everybody don't listen to your husbands uh, the next purchase was the stocky trip trap with the baby insert. Uh, this is one of the thingies that I purchased um, from the baby show. I told you about that in a previous video. That was $1.99, absolute bargain, and I love it. Um, we also purchased these covers separately. I think they're about £20, and um, I think they look rather cute. Underneath it's just that colour, cream. And then the actual stocky trip trap is in the white. We purchased the white because um, 
we just thought it would go better with we've got a white table as you can see another purchase that we have made that um in some people's views will be entirely unnecessary is a nursing chair now i think anybody who thinks is this is unnecessary just hasn't sat in one uh <laughs> is the truth um when i sat in this in rickety care i couldn't get out for ages because i was just too comfy um it this is what the um the, the the stool thing, the footstool slides as well as the chair itself. I'll give you a demo. And basically this kind of like creamy fabric is also underneath here. And I just bought a throw so that it goes with my living room a bit better. And a cute little pillow from Tesco for £10 or £12 I think that pillow was. I think it makes it look a bit cuter. I might even consider trying to cover this, but at the moment I can't bother. But that chair was £100 from Kitty Care, which I think is a total bargain, to be honest. It was £150, but they were doing a promotion that weekend. So um, I highly recommend trying to, you know, source when these promotions are on and stuff like that, because I tell you what, if you sat in that, you'd know that that £100 was well spent. This is the Bumbo that we bought, uh, not Bumbo, what am I on about? Um, what are these called again? You know what this is, uh, it's not one of the actual genuine ones, not one of the real ones that are like 30 or 40 pounds, this one was a fake one from the baby show that basically does the exact same job and I thought was an even nicer kind of pattern and this one was 15 pounds from the baby show. And I love it, and it goes with my house much better than the others did. So, coming into the nursery now, Bori, um, you're going to ask me what the make of it, no, not the make, the name, I can't remember, it's a classic one though. It's not, like, it's not a sleigh, it's just kind of a normal Bori, Bori cot. And this is a little nappy bag. This is the bumper, as you can see. Cute little, like, um, lacy, not lacy, you know what I mean. Um, and a, a plain white sheet on the bottom, and a little pillow. Obviously, uh, you know, the pillow, the pillow comes out afterwards. Now, I purchased this um, mobile from Mamas and Papas, and. I am aware that it doesn't go with, very well with the cot um, in terms of the bumper and things and to be honest with you the reason why I bought this is because when I had Kaya I purchased one that was cream and white and um, as you'll probably be aware they do recommend that children have really bright colours to look at um, because obviously they get more stimulation from that and the fact that it's got a mirror as well I thought was just super super cool because she can sit there and just goggle the way and look at herself and and I thought this was so lovely and cute um, in terms of just the colours and the cuteness of the characters and the fact that there are a lot of colours and that you know it will be stimulating for her um, and it's got the normal, you know, so that was from Mamas, and um, yeah, even though it doesn't necessarily go with the rest of the cot, I I really like it still anyway, and um, I'm really excited for her to arrive. This will obviously come out, um, and so will the pillow, so it'll be a lot more plain. Um, we actually have the duvet cover as well to go with the rest of the sheets so it's called the uh, Gordonsbury collection and we purchased that from Harrods and uh, that's another spare sheet a, f a fitted sheet actually to go with it and then this is just like a little bale for like bedding and stuff from 
mamas and papas, which I thought was really cute. So, as you guys will know, if you have watched any of my other baby videos, this is the crib that we have purchased. Um, this is the Snooze Pod by Babies R Us. Um, and basically, this is going to be in our bedroom um, and it will go right pressed up against the bed. You unscrew this pole. And this one comes down. So, uh, when you're using it to have right up against the bed, you wouldn't have that pole. You wouldn't have this one. You wouldn't have this one in. Um, it would permanently be out and the way you're meant to use it is that um, it's right pressed up against the bed. It's got different height um, measurements so you can have it at the height that is best to go right up against your bed, your mattress, so that these are level. And um, when you want to get baby out, you can literally just, you know, um, undo the zip, pull this down, and then you can access baby very easily. And then once you've put her back, then you can just put her back up on the other side, and then baby's safe when she can't get out. And it means that you don't have to keep toing and froing and getting up out of bed, doing all of that work that is required when a baby is very new and you're getting them out, you know, five or six times a night at the beginning. Um, this certainly looks as though it's going to be make our lives a little easier. So this is the snooze pod. It takes crib sized sheets. So that's just a little crib sized sheet that we purchased from Babies R Us. This is the thingy for it. Uh, we bought it at the baby show so we got a great deal. It's meant to be something like um, 200 pounds including the mattress and we got it for about 160 at the baby show. <laughs>